Hey, what's up, guys? It's Brendan Mania here. And I am feeling stuffed up. Um, as usual, I've changed the background. Now I've got three. P oh, you can't see the grade on that. Boom. Three PSA 10 mojos. I'm still mad about the rose one that the guy lied to me and told me he sold it already because it was it didn't sell for enough. I'm still mad about that. For now, I've got three. Of course, Kamara Usman, which I just won. That'll be in the next video. Anderson Silva. Benil Dariush. On a big win streak. A lot of people don't even know who he is. And then, you know, we got the PSA 10 Nunez and uh, another PSA 10 Kamara Usman. But today, if you saw my Instagram... Uh, picture my Instagram by the way is Brendan underscore mania underscore on underscore YT Brendan mania on YouTube we got eight packs of these I don't really you know like these too much but they're only 15 bucks you get 30 cards and they're all I got my target is not like other targets and my Walmart Walmart doesn't even sell cards where I live. They literally have nothing. It's It was either I get these or I get nothing, you know? So I went with these. And they don't even fill these, like, too often, you know? Like, it's a rare occurrence that they have any UFC stuff here where I live. So for these, it's pretty much a bunch of base garbage. There's the man, Dominic Cruz. I swear Dom is not my favorite fighter. It just so happens that... Uh... <laughs> Shot strip on autograph. It just so happens... Or not autograph, I mean rookie card. It just so happens that uh, I, he's definitely going to be a future Hall of Famer. Dom Cruz I'm talking about right now. And uh, So I buy his stuff. That's funny. Sean Strickland. Autograph. Now what's next? What is this? Jan Blakovich. I don't know if I want it. I'm not going to sleeve these. Unless there's something special. I mean, I'll put it to the side, but... What is this? Production line. John Jones. I don't think I've ever seen that before. What did we get here? Dust in the Diamond Poirier. It's weird, the numbered ones of these, to me, I've seen them on eBay and they look like exactly the same. So, I, I don't know, but. Jessica Andrade, you know, I'll sleeve these just because they're green and they're, uh, you know, hollow or whatever, but I don't, I don't really care for her. This one, on the other hand, Khabib, any Khabib card is worth Ooh, I see something nice after this. So anyway, we got Khabib. <clears throat> At least I think it's something nice. I actually don't remember what this... What is that? I was going to say that better come off. Like, what? I actually don't know what this guy's record is off the top of my head, but that's the first time I've got it. A, a rated rookie green. Well, that's cool.
I'm sorry, I'm just reading the back. So, so that's pretty cool. What I think they should do instead of this is be like baseball and have their record, you know, like show their fights. And if they win, lost, like show me if he's 10 and 0, show me his 10 wins. Don't show me a little summary. Like, I don't care about that. I mean, I did read it because I needed to see. But, I mean, normally I don't care about that. Like, And then uh, I'm just going to go through these quick because these are, I feel like, all just random base cards again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, base. So uh, that was pack one. It was all right. We got we got some uh, interesting stuff. Yeah, for fifteen bucks, you know, if you got fifteen bucks extra and you uh, got nothing better to do, I mean, these can be worth it. I've opened uh, a bunch of these. Well, how many have I opened so far? Now maybe like five, but like. <clears throat> yeah i think i've opened about five that might be off i'm not i can't remember but uh i've got one autograph i've gotten some cool looking cards i want to get graded you know we got a rated rookie so i think you either get an autograph or a rated rookie and since we got a rated rookie Okay, yeah, since we got a rated rookie, I guess that means no autograph. And like I said, I, I have no idea who this is. I'll uh, I'll sleeve it just because it's a rookie. You know, you never know with the rookies. I'm sorry you had to watch me butcher that corner, but at least it's somebody that I've never heard of, so... This is cool. So I did get this card in the green. Islam Makachev. I have this, uh, the green version. Somewhere. Production line. Khabib. 21 takedowns. So these cards aren't as, uh, cool and exciting as, uh, you know, the other Panini... Rose Nama Nunez. You're pretty much buying these for the cards in the middle, you know, like, like these, the hollow cards. And I don't even know how much these are actually worth. If I had to guess, probably not too much. You'd probably have to get these graded to, in order to even sell them. What was that? Oh, we got Rose. This was a Rose pack. You know, that $22 a card. Actually, I don't even think these would sell for $22 bucks graded. It depends, I guess, on... Uh, why does this keep happening? Why? Rose Nama Nunez. I don't know if I've gotten a numbered card out of this set before. We got Max Holloway. Got a bunch of his autograph cards recently. And by a bunch, I mean two. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if I've talked about that yet. That might be in the next video also. Max Holloway. Too bad we couldn't get an autograph of him. And then I think this is just a bunch of base. I'm probably just going to skip all these because the video is already like 10 minutes long. And, you know, there's nothing cool. You, these are all just base cards. The beginning and the end are base cards. You're pretty much buying these packs for the five cards in the middle. And hoping that you get uh, something good. <clears throat> something worth 15 bucks.
Damn, my target had just... Oh, this one opened up really badly. My target had just restocked these. I'm sorry I took the cards off screen. I'm sorry. I swear I didn't do anything. I was literally just throwing the bag away. But I know that's a big no-no. I mean, I'm not doing a break or anything, but I know that's a big no-no. This guy, dude, I can't believe this guy's cards are selling for so much. Just wait and see what happens if he loses that fight, which I think he's going to lose. Just, just wait. Wait and see how bad it is for everyone that bought those cards for $800 plus dollars. There's a good rookie. Tom Aspinall. Pretty sure he's injured right now. And actually took an L because of that injury. But, you know, hopefully he'll come back better than ever. I got to check the back of all these cards because I have no idea. Dan Henderson. I have no idea what's numbered and what's not in this sale. Like I said, and we got another Khabib. I have one of these. I think I have one of these in the hollow green. Got a crunch time. Justin Gagey. It's interesting. I don't, is that, isn't that like a cereal brand or something? I don't know what's the deal with that, but. Maybe there's some type of partnership. <laughs> oh, no. Look at what I just got. All right. We'll look at it after this. I don't know who this guy even is. Uh, I'm a UFC fan. I've been watching UFC a long time. But, like, you know, I don't know a lot of these not as popular fighters, you know. like I mean, maybe that guy is good. I don't know. But. I'm like a little bit above casual fan. You know, I know the big names and some of the not so big names, but. Oh, I was just talking crap about him, and there he is. 230 significant strikes landed. What was that against the fighter who got called on a week's notice or something, and it was his first ever fight in the UFC? Yeah, I mean, I guess you could say it's impressive, but not really. I don't know. These are cards where you get them graded and you hope you break even. That's the way I look at it. And then a bunch of base again. Just going to skip through these real quick. After this, I might be able to make this whole set. These base cards. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll do that since I have a ton of them. I have so many cards. <laughs> oh, that was only three packs, and we're 13 minutes in. Going kind of slow. It'd be cool to get something really awesome out of here. Then I could be like, oh yeah, this set's really good. But right now, it's me. I mean, if I had options, I wouldn't buy these. But uh, I don't. I don't have any options. It's either this or nothing. I don't know if I've said this yet, but uh, sorry if I sound. I'm all stuffed up, so... I don't know what it is. I don't know if I have... Uh, Hey, Voices of the Eye. I think this is the same one I got last time. Or no, I got a guy last time, I think. Oh, it's not an autograph. I think I sleeved the other one, but I'm not going to sleeve that one. John Bones Jones. Waiting for him to come back. He's at a point where he needs to win for his career. Duos, Amanda Nunez and Valentino Shevchenko. Man, I wish this was an autographed card. <coughs> Sorry about that. If that was an autographed card, I wouldn't even sell it. Kamara Usman. 
Did I not get a rated rookie or did I totally skip it and throw it in the pile of... Hold on, I'm checking the pile now. I was going so fast. Did I throw a rated rookie in here? Did I get an insert instead? Well, I guess I got some random insert instead. I don't know. I wasn't aware that's how that worked. I thought it was you either got an auto or... There we go. All right, what's our first green card here? Cody Stan, man. Here's a craftsman. Oh, Mr. Oliveira. That's pretty cool. So now I got the green version of him. Volkanovski, Islam, and Khabib, I think. Mm, Glover Texas. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Still nothing too special. I don't know what I got. I guess that uh, that duo card was the uh, replacement for my rated rookie, which not really worth it in my eyes, but whatever. It is what it is. Quickly go through these uh, random cards here. I was going to say, this pack looked bigger than the other packs. This pack looks bigger, but I think it's just because there's air in it. I don't know if there's anything that comes in this set that would make a pack bigger. I don't think there's any memorabilia cards. Something looks shiny, but I think it's just one of those green cards. You know, focus camera, focus. There you go. Let's skip all the base, because let's be honest, no one cares about that. Michael, the count, Bisbing. Voices of the Octagon. Give me one of those autos. I wouldn't be too upset. We got Surreal Gun. Marvel. So I don't know what's going on. I know there's a Marvel box that just came out too or something. Max Holloway Crunch Time. What is this? Magicians, John Jones. I guess that takes my rated rookie spot. Again, I think I'd rather have a chance at a rookie than that, but. Oh, that's cool right there. I'm going to look at that after this. Let's uh, get Mr. Bisbing in here, though. Got yeah, Mr. Michael Bisbing. The man who won the belt with one eye. Is this a hollow crunch time? Charles Oliveira, hollow crunch time. That's pretty sweet. Darn, it's not numbered. I was hoping it would be numbered, but that's pretty sick looking. He's got a big fight coming up against, uh, was it Islam Makachev? I hope he beats Islam, dude. I'm tired of these Khabib people thinking they're the best. Alexander Rocky. Well, so far, nothing too interesting. Bunch of 
base cards. You know, it's fun to open, you know. It's, is it worth it? Not really. Not yet, anyway. Maybe if I get these graded, which is an additional cost. You have to factor in that, too. So, And it'd be 22 bucks a card. And so, you know, you'd have to hope they get 10s and that someone actually buys them for... What's happening to this pack? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Packs are giving me trouble. I already can't breathe. Just trying to enjoy what little UFC content that I get. I don't understand why they do this. Oh, I hit the camera. That's my bad. Okay, we finally got a, a rookie. Paw Craig rookie card. I don't know, these cards are just aren't as good looking as the, uh, you know, the Paninis in the background. Or Prism, is that what it's, I'm calling it the wrong thing, the Prism, you know. It's alright looking, but like, you know, Robert Whitaker, Craftsman. This guy just got his signature card from Australia. Finally, it took forever. It took like the whole month. I was expecting it, but I mean, it sucks. Oh, Connor McGregor. I used to be a Connor fan, you know, back when he was a good fighter. But, uh, Dan Eage. Sounds like damage. You know, Connor just doesn't do it for me anymore. He says a bunch of dumb stuff now. All right, I see a really cool duo card. Two good fighters. Yeah. What is that? Is that on the card? Came straight out of the pack with something on it. Nice. Can I? Don't damage the Kamara Usman. Kamara Usman, Colby Covington. It'd be nice if some of these were numbered or something. Like, that would have been a sick auto. I wish... Take, it, take the other one back. I wish that one was... Jack Hermanson. Then you know, sorry if the commentary is a little dry this time around. I don't. I didn't really come in here with any specific topics I wanted to talk about, and I had kind of a bad. Uh, a bad eBay delivery today. Uh, one of the cards I ordered was not packaged very well, and it was like half sticking out of the case. And you know that Probstein man or Probstein or whatever you want to call it—they're just the worst, man. They just have so many orders that they just don't even care about your specific item, like. I've never gotten a single single thing that I didn't have a problem with from them. And it sucks that... Oh my gosh! Ooh, I knocked the camera over. It sucks that everyone uses them too, you know, like... My Cropstein, man, they just... Everyone loves using them and they just destroy your card. 
even if it's graded, all the stuff I get from them graded as issues. It's got scratches all over it. Got a Marvel's Nate Diaz. We got a Crunch Time, Francis Naganu. Who knows what's going on with him? If he's ever gonna fight again, I have no idea. Brian Ortega and Alexander Volkanovsky, not hollow. Tanner Bosser, Bozer, I don't know the uh, pronunciation of that. Sorry about that. There's something right there, Mr. Nate Diaz. Hello, crunch time. Who knows what he's going to do with his career now. Is he going to box? Is he going to fight Jake Paul in a boxing match? <coughs> Is he going to go to bare knuckle and fight Mike Perry? Is he going to... Oh, Amanda Nunez. And Amanda, I mean, I'd be buying a lot of Amanda stuff. I fell asleep. There was an auction for an Amanda auto I was going to go for. I there was seven minutes left, and I was waiting until the last couple seconds, and I fell asleep. And it sold for less than I would have been on it, so. But, you know, at the end of the day, it wasn't that good of a... I mean, it's not a card that I'm, like, crying over, but I would have won it. All right, we're on our last pack. I mean, out of eight of these, I thought maybe I'd get an auto or something. So, unless it's in here, I don't know. I bought one pack from Barnes and Nobles and got an auto. And the last time I opened this, which was Benio Darius auto. All right, skip all the garbage. Got a Grant Dawson rookie card, which means no auto in the whole eight packs. How did I flip this all the way around without noticing? There's Mr. Israel Adesanya. He's about to fight on the only guy that. Beat him in kickboxing twice in a row. We got Peter Yan, the guy that's about to smash. Sean O'Malley. A production line. No numbers. Not a single numbered thing. I mean, I know they exist in here, but not for me. Cain Velasquez, man. What's going on with Cain? Is he still going to prison forever? Like, has there been any updates with that? Like, what is he doing right now? Is he locked up or is he at home? Like, oh, John Jones, Marvel Hollow. Some of these would be cool to get in a 10, you know. Even if they don't sell, you know, just hold them. It's kind of cool. Probably low pops on these. I can't imagine a lot of people are even buying these to begin with, let alone grading them. And Augusto Sakai. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. We didn't get anything like really crazy. Like I said, the only way to make money on these is to bulk grade them. And then I uh, hope you get a bunch of tens and that people want them, you know. But like the, I said in my last video, the market's kind of coming down right now. Um, and it'll probably be that way as long as the stock market is down, which people are saying could be up to two years. So, you know, if you want to get out now, get out now. If you want to, you know, hold the cards and wait like I'm going to do. And, you know, maybe they'll boom again like Pokemon did. 
Uh, either way, if the cards do crash in value, I will be buying all of them. And then whether the price goes back up or not, I will keep them. Because, well, you know, I'll sell them if the price goes back up. But even if it doesn't, I'll keep them. I love collecting cards. I love the UFC. So, it's the only sport I watch. <laughs> I'll be able to complete some sets if everything's cheaper. But, uh, yeah, so I'll have another video maybe Saturday, tomorrow, or uh, Sunday about some of the recent purchases I got, like this bad boy right here. Um, I didn't have enough cards last time to make a video last week, but I do have enough cards now. And I got more coming. And yeah, it's going to be um, a fun time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We didn't really get anything crazy. I wouldn't really recommend buying these. If you have other options, I would go with those. But it's all I got, man. That's literally why I bought them. So I hope you guys enjoyed my sacrifice of 120 bucks, And I will see you guys next time.